Good morning, everybody, wherever you are in the world. If it's evening or afternoon, um, happy days to you again. It's a wonderful time to be in uh, the world where we're having these transformations. But I wanted to look at uh, Matthew seven twenty four through uh, 27 with you. And it says, everyone... Hold on, let me pull it up here. It says, everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. By the way, a lot of times I get on and I'm recording and I forget to tell you who I am. My name is Kim Warner. And um, I like to do the study discussions on uh, theology, biblical terms, astrology, and psychology. So, you know, we'll look at the psychological aspect and also um, the world universal aspect of what's going on. And this is what's happening because um, as we discuss building your house on the rock in Matthew 7, 24 and 27, what you'll find is a lot of people going through uh, changes and researching themselves to say what's happening to me. And so some of the answers lie right here in this scripture where he says, you know, everyone then who hears the word of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. So you're building your house yourself your temple on the rock and that means that you're taking in information that's going to transform you and recreate who you are no longer are you someone who are worryful and um, fearful doubting or distrusting um, in the things around you but you are looking at things through uh, the eyes of Christ and that means that you're asking for discernment as you are looking at things and you know um, inspecting or addressing things so 26 says and everyone who hears these words of mine uh, does not and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain will fall and um, the floods will come and the winds will blow and beat against that house and it fell and it was a great fall so that means that we can take a look at our attitude and um, whatever we're doing the choices we're making people that we're making choices with business wise relationships um, however we raise our children we begin to look at ourselves and say how have I been building myself um, have I been building myself in the word? Have I been taking the word and letting it get into my heart to bring seeds that will fortify me when the winds come, when the disasters come, when the chaos comes? Because that is the action of Christ in our lives if we are built up to stand against the storms of life. A lot of people in Christianity do not believe that they are supposed to go through trials and tribulations. But when we look at the disciples and when we look at Jesus, number one, he went through the greatest tribulation, which was to be taken up and nailed to a cross. So this, to me, could be for him, it was a great thing because it, it brought us life more abundantly. But for us, if we don't look at what he's saying and build ourselves up in the word you know knowing that i'm more than a conqueror even when hard times come those winds and chaos come and begin to blow um what i'm i'm looking at is really standing in what i have said concerning the word um i'm more than a conqueror not just saying i'm more than a conqueror but having that it has taken root in my my heart and that means that even if i'm going through relationship challenges uh what is the will of god for my relationship not i want this to be over or you know it, this isn't working out those words will cause more problems they will cause uh, God's plan to be be delayed because we're not actually speaking uh, precisely to God concerning the situation. I think that our language should be more conducive to what God is requiring and it's in his word. So what would I say concerning my finances? 
Um, Lord, what is your will concerning my work? What would I say concerning my relationship? Lord, what is your will? Where is your glory going to come? You know, a lot of times we think we should stay in something, say like um, a work relationship and you know, it's not a healthy work relationship. Well, that's when you go and you pray because your building up means that you're going to the Father for everything. When you go to the store to shop for your groceries, you're you're asking, you know, what do I get for the meal plan, actually? Because that's what's going to give you a healthy uh, balance in your meals. And God will give you the words or even show you what you should buy. But it's believing that when you ask, you shall receive. It's not just believing when you ask for money that you're going to receive. It's believing in everything. Because when you ask, you receive in some method or way if you pay attention to the spirit realm. You know, a lot of people say, well, I asked God and I didn't get an answer. You're getting an answer, but you're not paying attention. This is us. You know, we're in this here to this world of um, natural and then we have spirit. And so we have to consider the fact that being on the go is not justifying the fact that we're getting answers or that we're really paying attention because, you know, whatever we're doing is what we're paying attention to. When you steal away and you're in that quiet space, then you are paying attention. So going back to the scripture, building my house up means communication with God. It means asking God what is good for me and not following just the desires of my heart because my desires may not be healthy for me. It is not desires just in um, the relationship aspect, but it's also in purchasing a car, purchasing a home. It may not be the right time. And sometimes people are getting prophetic uh, messages and those messages are for a season. It may not be in this time that we're to purchase it, but we're to look out the purchase, to seek out the purchase, how to do it and make sure that it is the right people that we're working with in the purchase. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is so sporadic uh, when we're purchasing, uh, in, in some cases, we haven't set the goal or wrote it down and so on and so forth. So when you're building your house, you're building from the inside out. It reminds me of um, Michael Jackson looking at the man in the mirror. Um, our lives are more than just looking at building for the gratification of material. Um, the material will come after we built up the inside man. And so that means that the seeds that we plant more than a conqueror, I can do all things through Christ are set in. I am debt free because God has given me the power to obtain wealth. All of these here seeds have set in and they gave us confidence to know that we can really do this. And that scripture is around uh, Deuteronomy 8, 10 and 11. God has given me the power to obtain wealth. So when you are building on the rock, you set your mind on the things that are of God, which means good. That means that everything you're allowing to come in your ear gate into your system, your body has nothing more than good. It is speaking good because you are transforming yourself with Christ. This is an action between you and God. And so the house built, being built on, rock, on the rock is all about faith standing fast when chaos comes if you don't have the wording i can do all things through christ in you or greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world the chances are you've got some other people's words that are going to shake your foundation and maybe uproot you like he said the sinking sand but if you got i can do all things through christ greater is he than greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world the chances are you're going to stand but you got to look at the battle in the mind because that's where the sinking comes if the house isn't fortified on the word true words that give you the sustainability to stand through trials and tribulations chances are you're going to fall so you take a look at what's been planted in you what you've been putting in you what your affirmations are daily what you really believe anything that you're holding on to that is not healthy 
let it go. And and when you look at your mindset and really what you've kept inside of you, you begin to say, okay, let me let go of that thought because it's not good. When my attitude is bad, I see I'm responsible for that and I let it go because all of that will cause the shaking and uprooting when the time of testing chaos or storms come. All right. So you can always email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com if you have any questions. I love discussing the word and what's going on in the heavenlies because what I found is is that most of us haven't been taught heavenly understanding, which means that we don't know what's going on in the stars and in the moon and in the sun. And we need to know what's going on there. Why? Because we're a part of that. All of that energy it, 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 it moves and propels us, whether it's good or bad. And if we can understand that sometimes our minds are receiving new downloads from the heavenlies and the universe is doing its thing, then we can begin to um, emotionally set ourselves in a tone where there is peace because we know the changes that are going on in the heavenlies are also going on in the body of men and women because the earth is in a shift and change. Amen. So God bless you. Don't be moved by the shaking and the quaking. Stay steadfast to your word. The truth. What is the truth for you is the questions that you ask because your truth may not be mine. But I remember Jesus in my truth. He said, they that worship me must worship me in spirit and truth. So in the spirit is where my truth is. Where is yours? Stay strong. Amen. Have a blessed day.